Live at NASA TV, folks at Mission Control there just made a massive accomplishment. NASA's InSight lander just touched down on Mars, and landing this thing is a really big deal because it wasn't easy at all. InSight had to scream through Mars' atmosphere at more than 12,000 miles per hour in a live or die, or on a live or die highway through thin air and dust storms. Its journey was so harrowing, the path and the path so intricate that NASA called this six and a half minutes of terror. And you wanted InSight to survive because it's going to be really cool what InSight can find out. The probe is going to is going to land on the red planet, or it has landed on the red planet now, and it's going to try and figure out how Mars became Mars. What happened after Mars formed? What could it mean for us? Is this a future scenario? Is it a past scenario? InSight's even going to go underground to learn more about Mars quakes. Yes, Mars quakes. It's not a milkshake with a Mars bar in it. Um, they're actually studying the seismology of the Martian crust. And guys, this is exciting because we just made history, space history, spistery, you could call it. We don't get to talk about this sort of thing so much, Ali Velshi. This I happy love sort of talking stuff. about space. I, and you, you talked the other day about how you could go, uh, you were able to watch the, yeah, um, the, the uh, rocket launch. The rocket launch. Yeah. I know, but this is what I love watching. Like, yeah. the, the visual of uh, a, a rocket launch or something landing. But these people have devoted their lives to this. And so much comes of being really informed about what's going on in space. So I love their excitement. I would love to see pictures of uh, Insight. Landing. I think it's difficult to get pictures. I mean, yeah. when they talk about the the path it needed to take to get to the Earth, or yeah. the, Mar the Mars's surface, I mean, it, it was harrowing, and they had to be really precise in the way that yeah. they landed it. They only had six and a half minutes. Yeah, we, we've made movies that made this look easy. It's just not. How does it's still it look easy? it's still rocket science. Yeah, because you. Oh wait, hold let's listen. Let's listen. We don't have a handshake. We should that. definitely do a handoff handshake. <laughs> That's oh, amazing. there are kids there too. It's amazing. Ali Velshi, you get all the good stuff. Are you going to focus it. on this? Is this I love you're it. able? Uh, I got a couple other things I'm going to focus on, but I'm going to come back to this. I'm going to find out. Is there life on Mars? Do you think we're alone? No. No, I don't either. It would make me very sad to think. You see we're that alone. story? There's a the, and if I, we're the smartest we have, Katie. That worries me. I wanted uh, to talk to Neil deGrasse Tyson about this, but of course there was some, I guess, Mueller news or something that we had to break yeah. to. But um, there was a there was a there was some instance relatively recently, a couple of weeks ago, a month ago, uh, where they found out that I, I guess a, a little while back, um, this mile long tube shaped thing looked like a subway car. Mm -hmm shot through our atmosphere, or shot through our galaxy, I should say, not our atmosphere. Right. And it, it zoomed right past the sun, but didn't get pulled into the sun's gravitational mm -hmm. field, and then seemed to accelerate out. Right. And there are all these questions about what that thing was. It was the first thing to enter our galaxy that we've noticed ever. That I, looks I like wanna, it might be propelled, or looks like it might have been made I by. I want to think that it's the TARDIS. not a meteorite. Right. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.